Coming up next on today's episode of Eye for an Eye. Who was letting the dog out to go to the bathroom? Exactly. Oh, the nobody, dog went to the bathroom nobody, in the whole apartment? Nobody had over the nobody apartment. Had, like, it was horrible. It was, it was, it was, was, was all over the apartment. Was, it was, it was, do threesomes and stuff like that. You do so, threesomes? Yeah. Threesomes with who? who? <laughs> Since you're yes, such you a little tight here. ass, you want to go ahead and get all her about $1,000? Come on. You're going to doggy jail. In the court system, justice is not always just. That's why they bring their disputes here. Real people, real problems, real revenge. Justice is eye for an eye. Hey, it's me, Kato, and welcome to Eye for an Eye. Our litigants today are having a tiff about the possession of a precious pink poodle. The divine dog was left in the so-called loving hands of the dandy defendant. The plaintiff, a professional drag queen, also accuses the defendant, his life partner, of being a two-timing harlot. I am uh, suing my boyfriend for the money that he owes me for my dog or our dog destroying our apartment when I was out of town for four days. My boyfriend went out of town and he thinks I should stay home and watch the dog. He didn't ask me to watch the dog to begin with. I would have took care of my responsibility if he would have told me, hey, take care of the dog. He was supposed to stick around and uh, be responsible and check on the dog and make sure he has food and let him out to use the restroom and he ran to, off to a rave and forgot his responsibility. First of all, the only reason I think he's bringing me to the show is because he wants to embarrass me. But you know what? He's gonna get what he wants. He wants to embarrass me, fine, paybacks are a bitch. You know, he's just out having a grand time on my my expense and I work hard for my money. And he, out, he goes out and, you know, just blows it all like it grows on trees. Of course I'm not gonna be home, my man's out of town. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to stay home like a little innocent child? I don't think so. I'm bringing my boyfriend to eye for an eye court because my dog can't. And he's gonna suffer. I think Judge Akeem is gonna take my side is because he abandoned the dog. I didn't. If he would have told me to take care of the dog, there would have been no problems. I would have took care of my responsibility. This is the case of he's a poodle. Now let's see if Extreme Akeem thinks they should have been dragged into court in the first place. Are you Simon Carlisle? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, you're the plaintiff in this case. Yes, sir. And are you Lupe Campos? Yes, sir. Okay, and you're the defendant. Tell me what you're suing um, the defendant for. I am suing him for the uh, damages to my property and to my personal belongings. Okay, uh, and how did the, your personal belongings get damaged? I had taken a business trip to Chicago, sir, and to see some family at the same time. And I had left the, um, we, lived to we lived together at the time. Okay, and, what is um, y'all's relationship? He is my boyfriend. And so, all right, tell me what happened when you went on your business trip. Well, we have a, a dog together um, named Sarah Jessica Barker. Um, <laughs> we're Sex in the City fans, but uh, I went away for the weekend and I left him in charge of taking care of the dog and getting him fed and, you know, just taking care of him like you'd take care of a child. And when I came back, I had to send my mother actually to see what was going on with the dog. And she came into the apartment and she called me and she told me it was tore up, completely tore up. So I flew back from Chicago two days early from my business trip to see what it, what it, you know, was going on with the apartment. It was totally shredded. What and kind of dog was it again? Standard poodle. Okay. Is and that just, your mother? This is okay, my Okay, come mother. on in the cage if you don't mind, ma'am. Tell me what kind of damage you saw whenever you went into your son's house. Oh, your apartment. honor. The, the apartment was in shreds. The upholstery was torn up. The, the dog had been... Uh, just eating anything it could find. She was very neurotic. Uh, I could hardly grab her to bring her home with me. Okay, Mr. Um, Campos, they're saying that when he went away on his business trip, you didn't take care of the dog, the dog went. Um, okay, this is what happened. We were supposed to attend like a, an event, you know, just to get together with me and my friends. And he left the day before. And I don't know who he's going to go see. I don't know if he's going on a business trip. I don't know where he's going because he goes on business trips all the time. And I'm not sure what he's doing, if he's meeting other guys. I mean, because honestly, we don't spend any time together. So you thought he was cheating on you, so you let the dog just run through the apartment and tear up the well, apartment? Well, he didn't even ask me to. If he would have asked me to, I would have done my responsibility. What do you got to say about that? It all came out in the wash after I got home. I found out where he was. When, when I got where back, was he? 
He was gone for a rave for three days, raving like at some. <laughs> he'd dri driven out of town to go well, to the club. Well, who was letting the dog out to go to the bathroom? Exactly. Oh, the nobody, dog went to the bathroom nobody, in the whole apartment. Feces nobody all asked, over the nobody apartment. Asked, it was horrible. It was, it was, it was, it was feces all over the apartment. Was, if you would have asked me to take care of the dog, I would have took care of the dog. Yeah, but it's your dog. Don't you like that dog? Yeah, I love the dog. Well, why would you leave it in the house and I, make it go to the bathroom all over the house? Because I was and, mad. When you're mad, you don't even know what you're doing. You don't know. You don't even think. But you have to be responsible. I am responsible. If you would have asked me, I would have done my responsibility. Let me ask you something. I mean, the fact that you were jealous that he might be with someone else. Why would you take it on the dog, like I said before? I'm Why would you let the, out on well, you dog. let the dog go through the house, destroy the house, which you knew but that would have to happen. You knew the dog couldn't stay in the house for uh, three days without having to go to the bathroom all over the place. Coming up next. Put the shoe on the other foot. If it was yours, would you be mad? I wouldn't have cared. I wouldn't have cared, but since you're yes, such you a little tight cared. ass, you want to go ahead and get all her about $1,000. Come on. You're watching Eye for an Eye. Who was letting the dog out to go to the bathroom? Exactly. Oh, the nobody, dog went to the bathroom nobody, in the whole apartment? Feces nobody all asked, over the nobody apartment. Asked, it was horrible. It was, it was, it was, it was all over the apartment. It was, it if you would have asked me to take care of the dog, I would Eye for an Eye. Real people, real problems. Why are you bringing him to Eye for an Eye if you're in a relationship with him? He brought me here because he wants to embarrass me, and you've already done it. This is what you want to do? Go right ahead. I'm, I'm not trying to embarrass you. Doing. I'm just trying to make a point. No, I mean, come on. Come on. You're, Take responsibility you're for You're bringing me here for some suits or whatever it is that it tore up, you know, sheets and stuff. I mean, that's... That's okay, nothing. Let's put the shoe on the other foot. If it was yours, would you be mad? I wouldn't have cared. I wouldn't have cared. But since you're yes, such you a little tight cared. ass, you want to go ahead and get all her about $1,000? Come on. Well, let me ask you. He says that you were at a rave for a while. What, what were you doing there? Well, and who see, were you with? Were you with someone else? I was with my two friends. Okay, let me hear from them. Are, are they here? Yeah, they're here. Let's say one at a time. Get the first one. Did he ever mention the dog, that he was concerned about the dog? No, he never mentioned anything about a dog. He never said anything about the dog? Mm -mm. And the reason I went out with them was because every time that he's in town, and the moment that he is in town, I'm always with him. I'm lovey-dovey-dub this and lovey-dovey-dub that. But that's a relationship. No, but you know what? That's a relationship, that's babe. A relationship. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what you're like doing. Bring all your, your posse My friends, I put my friends to the side for this, and exactly. look what you're doing, and you're bringing me to eye for an eye? All right, let's get your other witness. What else did you bring here? Come on in here. Okay, tell me your name and tell me what relationship you are to the defendant. My name is Gary and I'm his friend. What do you know about this case? I mean, what do you hear well, him testify? Sometimes I'll call my friend up. You know, I try to invite him places, but you know, he's always with his man, you know what I'm supposed to say. He, I call him, he's crying. Oh, he went out of town, I can't go with you. Oh, whatever. So I hang up with him. He stood us up like three or four times trying to go to the club. What does that whatever. have to do with the poodle? peeing and going to bathroom all over the apartment and like destroying the apartment. I, I mean, what you bring these people here for? Well, I am going to mention one thing. I am going to mention, I found a package of condoms in his suitcase. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that just tells you, I didn't want to bring it up, but, you know, since you're pushing it there, I'm going to go ahead and do that. What, what yeah. was the condoms for? They're just, you know, I always practice. We don't use them. I don't care who we you are. I think if you're, but we're in an open relationship. We have a, we have a, we, have a, we do threesomes and stuff like that. You do so threesomes? threesomes? Yeah. Threesomes with who? Oh. <laughs> with who? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. With you, who? Might better, you might want to get out of that cage now. Why don't with you get who? out of that I'm cage? Like, <laughs> See, now he's, he's all playing. He's being coy and not. Well, let, let me ask you something. Okay, obviously, you got to admit that you caused damage to this property. I've caused damage to the property? Well, your poodle did that you did. The didn't poodle do is ours. Okay. So the exactly. poodle so caused damage to the Now I need to, to know the, the damage that was done. Did you buy that property or did um, y'all buy it jointly together? He did uh, damage to my clothing. So I bought all that, all okay. my fine suits, Italian suits. Um, all Whatever of the best. furniture I did buy, but he did buy some of the uh, the products in the, the bathroom and stuff. But okay, and how much damages are you claiming? I'm claiming um, $1,500 total. Okay, did you bring any bills or anything? I any do receipts? not have any. And you knew you were coming here to court? No. That shows you how, that shows but, you how smart he is. But, he didn't bring any receipts or anything like that, but you know, he did leave those package of condoms in his suitcase. I just want him to see the point. I just, you know, See the he's, point? I saw the point, you brought me to court. What do you, what what you want at this court? You know what this court's about. What are you looking for? I want him to be, you know, just grow up and be responsible. You know, if you're gonna be in a relationship with me, just please, you know, be responsible. And I'm not responsible. All right, well, let me think of everything you said and let me come up with a verdict that meets this case. All right, I'll be back in a second. I guess it's, a, it's sort of a case of puppy love, no? That whole puppy love. And Sarah Jessica Barker, you look nothing like her. But 
Who who cares? I, I do love your show. And you had something to say. Yes, first of all, the poodle isn't the only confused one. And I think he should have been more responsible and watched his dog. If he would have told me to take care of the dog, I would have taken care of the dog. But he didn't tell me anything. I like that. The poodle's not the only confused one. That's, that's a really good one. What do you want to say? Well, I, I got a question for both of you guys. I just, you, you complained about finding condoms. But I, I think that in your case, that would be a good idea. Whoa! I think that's what you want to say over here. Yeah. Come on, fight over here. Get over by me. Oh, thanks, man. Well, I had a concern uh, for Sarah Jessica Barker. I mean, they left him alo her alone for three days. I mean, what were y'all thinking? Yeah. That would have been his problem when he came back, so. Uh, no one should be left alone for three days, especially <laughs> me. I'm lonely like an hour. I'm like, Mommy. And what did you want to say? And, you know, all you had a chance to actually, you know, watch this case. That's why it was so interesting right here on the monitor. And you can comment right now to these people. I mean, he's right. I mean, it's a dog, for goodness sake. How hard is it to figure out he has to be taken care of? Right. You know, it's true. Good point. And you come on over here. You got to get close to me, man. I just wanted to say you guys are in a responsible relationship. Shouldn't you act responsible? Responsibility. That's his problem. If and he would have told love. me to take care of the dog, I would have taken care of my responsibility and I would have done what I have to do. But he didn't say anything. But besides that, he pissed me off. Be responsible, right? Well, getting back to being lonely, I am right now. And uh, Akeem, where are you? Please come out and make a decision. All rise! <laughs> Okay, I've made my decision, and first of all, I'm going to say that I'm, I've decided that both of you were in a mutual relationship, which means that you had mutual property, the dog was mutually yours, and so I'm going to award you nothing. But that doesn't stop the fact that I can't let this innocent dog get hurt. So today, the bat of justice is going to Sarah Jessica Barker. <laughs> To the defendant in this case, I want you to know what it's like what that dog went through. So you're going to jail. <laughs> you're going to doggy jail. You're going to wear a dog collar. You're going to go to the dog kennel. You're going to clean out all the dog um, cages. You're going to live in the dog cage and clean out the dog kennels. And you're going to learn what it's like to take care of a dog. Now, that's justice. Coming up next, the plaintiff gets revenge. And you're going to learn what it's like to take care of a dog. This is some big sh**. That's it, grab that tail. Come on, grab that tail and try to polish it up. Come on. I don't think he likes that. Yeah. You're watching Eye for an Eye. You're going to doggy jail. You're going to wear a dog collar. You're going to go to the dog kennel. You're going to live in the dog cage and clean out the dog kennel. Hey, welcome back. It's me, Kato Kalen. And, well, it seems like Lupe, he couldn't be bothered to take care of the dog, so maybe he'll be better off as a dog. I mean, Lupe, it sounds kind of like it could be a dog's name. Come here, Lupe. Good boy. Anyways, Judge Akeem, you heard what he said. Lupe, you got to wear a collar and you got to live in a cage. Oh, so we'll have him clean and maybe give a couple baths and walk a few dogs. Heather actually works at Camp Bow Wow and uh, she's going to be Lupe's master for a while. Oh, his buddy just said get down on all fours. I think he's heard that before. Sorry it had to be this way, but you're going to have to learn your lesson. Here, Lupe. Good boy, good boy, as if he's never worn this collar before. Lupe, you gotta learn your lesson, man. Here. Whatever, Lupe. I guess I'll see you on visiting days. Oh my gosh, I sure hope he doesn't lick his paws. All right, so. You're gonna pick up and then put it in the bucket. With my hands? Yeah. More tissue. Ooh. This is some big.
You're gonna give this dog a bath. I don't wanna do it. I am not taking no dog a bath. I'm sorry. Come on, get the hose. Should I just spray it or what? No, no. She do it exactly what she said. The judge said do exactly what she said. I think Lupe may ask Heather if he can just give Big Sugar Ray a bath. Tell him what to do. Get the dog wet and then you're gonna shampoo him and then you're gonna rinse him off. Uh -uh. Come on, get on down and get that dog wet. Come on. Come on. Do you put the shampoo on? Yeah. You put the shampoo on. No, right? no. You're gonna on. do she it. Said, you're gonna lather them up really good. Y'all don't have a sponge or something? Or? No. Y'all gotta have a sponge somewhere laying around here somewhere. Come on, both hands, both hands. Come on, come on, Luffy. both hands, let's go. This is really freaking gross. Gotta teach you next time someone leaves the animal with you to take care of an animal. Yeah, he should have asked me to begin with. No, both hands. Both he hands. just really get in there. She, I am using both hands. Make sure you get his belly too. Come on, come on. Did you, did you say you wanted to do it? Lever him all over? Yeah. Get on your knees. If not, I'm going to put you back in the cage. OK, is that enough? No, no, she have to take what's enough. Let's go. Get all come of on. them. Get all the way, she said. Grab his tail. Hey, wouldn't it be great if the dog was like doing an herbal essence commercial? Oh, oh, woof. No. I said grab that tail. Come on, grab that tail and, and polish it up. Come on. I don't think he likes that. Y'all, that's all right. Get that soap off that dog. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. She said that's good. Oh, gross. <laughs> Hey, Lupe. What's happening? You know, I didn't really think the uh, judge would do this, but is there anything I can get you? I see they got you some toys to play with. Can you leave? Can you, leave? Can you do that for me? I, I already feel lost without you. What? I, I just came here to help you to see if I could do anything for you. I'm sorry it turned out this way, but I was hoping that you would just learn your lesson. Learn my lesson about what? About what you about did what? To, to, to the you dog. Man, you don't know what I've been doing. I've been cleaning dog cages. Picking up dog. See, now you see what it feels like. How does it feel? Skid loss. I haven't slept and dogs barking and bull. You're out there happy while I'm here getting Look. embarrassed, you know. All right, that's five swear words. Right now, put your nose in it and spank them. Right now, nose in it and spank them. No more swearing. I came to say I'm sorry and you. Yeah, you know what? You are sorry. Now get lost. Yeah, no, I get can see lost. I will right? get lost. No, just just leave. leave. You can leave. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> are you doing? It looks like you need more time to think about it. So I will get No, lost. you need more I'll time to think about it. You know what? Go ahead. judge and tell him to leave you in here two or three more days. You need it. I think they're having a dog fight. See what happens when you don't punish them right away? They don't learn a lesson. Mm. Well, you can see uh, the weekend has ended and uh, Lupe is out of his cage. Simon's coming to pick him up. And uh, from what I hear, Simon said he could ride in the front seat with the window down. And here's what Lupe had to say about his dog living experience. Taking, bathing the dogs, picking up, putting up with Well, we apologize, folks. All this and Lupe never caught one Frisbee. You know, I hope, I think he did learn something, I mean, he was really cruel to me the other day when I came out here to apologize to him. Today, justice was docile, hostile, and doggy style. Until next time, I'm Cato Kalen for Eye for an Eye. Wait, did you hear me? Get in the car. I said get the, get the car and we'll take your ass home. How do you feel? Thank you.
Thank you. If you want to sit down for No, you know what? You need to shut the up. What are you still doing here? Why are you still here? I want to rub it in your face. You know what? Because you're going to have something else rubbing in your face later on, all right? Come here, boy.